everybody, it's Robbie here. Today I'm coming to you with another Evan Moore product. This is again from their Read and Understand um, series. Um, this one is on science. Uh, if you saw my last video, it was on the leveled readers. And the Read and Understand series um, is pretty extensive. So it tells here exactly what um, they include in their Read and Understand. So we have read and understand stories and activities. These are leveled K through three. Then they have a fiction one for grades four through six, a nonfiction for grades four through six. And then they have more read and understand stories and activities, grade one, two, and three. They have literature genres, um, fairy tales and folk tales for grades one to two, folk tales and fables for grades two to three, tall tales for grades three to four, myths and legends for grade four to six, the science is divided into grades one and two, then grades two and three, grades three and four, and then grades four and six. This one is the four and six level that I'm gonna be showing you today. Uh, there's also poetry, grades two and three, grades three and four, grades four and five, grades five and six. And then we have the nonfiction reading practice. These, so the nonfiction reading practice has three different levels of each text in it. So if you're working with multiple students at different reading levels, this might be one to check out. Um, all of these are about reading, comprehension, vocabulary, and then they all include some fun activities to go with it, um, go with the reading material. But in this case, um, you do have each text or each topic is at three different levels. And then the one that I reviewed um, in my last Evan Moore video was leveled text um, via Lexile um, levels. So, so, but today we're focusing on the read and understand science. And if you have, um, if you're wanting to just work on comprehension and vocabulary, but you have a child that prefers nonfiction or science subjects, informational text, then I think this would be a really good fit. And I like the fact that it's for various grade levels because then you can say you just want to kind of evaluate your um, student's comprehension, you know, once every few weeks or once a month or whatever. You can just pull random um, topics out of here and just do them at your leisure. It's not something that you would have to necessarily do from front to back, but you could. You know, if you have, if you want to supplement some science materials and you throw in some comprehension with it, then, um, you know, this does give you a lot of different topics in here. And the table of contents will tell you all the different topics um, in the lessons. It's in black and white, and once again, this particular book is reproducible. The license allows you to reproduce this one. So if you have multiple students, you can do that. They also have an um, e-book. I saw just say e-reader. It's an e-book, um, PDF format, that you can purchase and download and then just print whatever you need in however many copies you need. So you don't have a bunch of books, you know, taking up space. You can just have them on your computer and just print out what you need and when you need it. Since they're in black and white, you know, there's nothing um, in color. You, you don't have to worry about missing out on that aspect or wasting a bunch of color ink if you just want to get the e-book and print them out. So... Um, these are not leveled like the other book I was telling you about. It doesn't give Lexile levels or anything like that. It's basically comprehension, vocabulary, and then a fun activity to go with the text um, that they're studying. So these topics are, are pretty random. Um, this one is the common cold. You have um, a couple of pages of text to read. Then you've got some comprehension questions to answer a vocabulary sheet, and then the activity on this one is to write a story about a person who is catching a cold. Um, then we go into a story, um, I'm sorry, a text about um, the pool. And then you answer some questions, some comprehension questions about that. There's a simple vocabulary sheet on that. Um, and then there's a little activity here for the, um, related to the text. And then this one is about why basketballs bounce and eggs don't. So a little physics there. And then again, same thing, comprehension, vocabulary, 
and then a little experiment, which I think is, is fun. So there's a variety of um, topics as well as a variety of activities that they can do. And it looks like, too, they, um, they vary the, the vocabulary sheets so that it's not the same thing over and over again. Some are fill in the blank. Some are, um, this one, you have to figure out homophones and write a sentence with the homophone. Um, and then your activity on this one is a Venn diagram. I saw multiple choice on the vocab. Um, fill in the blanks. You know, it's going to vary from story to story. So I appreciate that as well. So again, since it is so random, you can literally just go through here and find the text that you want to uh, have your child read. And then following the text, there's the activity sheets to go with it. Or if you want this to be student led, then they can pick out the stories. Uh, I can't say stories. They're not. Okay, sorry. My dog was barking her head off because my husband and my son came back from a little overnight retreat. So, um, a little earlier than what I had expected. So, all right. So, anyway, I really think that I've covered pretty much everything here. I'm going to just do a little walk through here. Um, that one story um, or text was on comics. Asking Mr. Ames. That was a geologist, I believe. So it was on rocks. Greatest show on Earth. Ah, Eclipse. Compounds, kitchen chemistry, a breath of wind, so it was on tornadoes, earthquakes or faults, tectonic plates, that sort of thing. Dear Professor Parsec. Pulsars, the periodic table, ah, microwaves, I think, the candy bar story I think was when we discovered microwaves, but don't quote me on that, because I haven't read this in, in depth, just for the fun of it. I don't know what that was unless it was about airplanes. Uh, global warming. Here's looking at you, kid. This is about eyes. Understanding extinction. The McDonald Observatory. Cell structure and function. Crooked cells. Looks like it's sickle cell anemia. Communicating through the ages. And then an answer key. And these pages are all up. These pages are all perforated. So if you want to pull the answer key pages out, you can do that. It looks like you would um, end up tearing out one of the activity sheets, but you can reproduce it um, if you want to. And looks like this is the back cover. They actually have part of the um, answer key on the back cover. I haven't seen that before. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's for reference anyways. So that's pretty much um, read and understand science in a nutshell. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will have more content coming for you soon. I've got lots of things that I'm going to be doing um, related to 
curriculum reviews. Um, I'm behind on getting videos up for our curriculum. So just keep watching for that. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you like that sort of content, please do subscribe and like my videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.